Hi all, welcome back to Epic Haunts with me, Simon and Gaz, and you may hear background chatting today. I'm not saying any names, but if we talk utter, we may be told we're not that good at anything. <laughs> <laughs> so we just had a debate again on tea and dinner, being from the south of England, being right, I won that. It's dinner, not tea. Both agree. Thank you. Yeah, not at all. Right, so on this episode, we're quite easy. Gaz and that went to Camelot Rises. So Simon and Gaz are going to talk about something I will never go to because I'm too lazy to travel all the way up north. But it looks okay. fantastic what I've seen it. And Simon's also going to explain all the ticket news and that from Halloween Horror Nights and a bit more from SeaWorld's Hello Screams. So that's it. So guys, how are you doing? Yeah, good. Thank you. Good. Yeah, I'm fun dubby dolly. You look half asleep, Simon. I uh, have. Well, it has been a long day. But... <laughs> No rest for the postman. The thing is, you actually work harder in the American postman as well because you actually go to the front door. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you want to work, if you want to know, I've done 59.3 miles this week and I've had two days off. Wow. I've done 18,000 steps today, if that means anything. Well, I'm yeah. currently on 29 and a half thousand. Yes, this is riveting stuff, everybody. I'm glad you come to the fitness podcast. Yeah. Right, so we are going to start with Camelot Rises, and tell the truth, if you actually want to see a whole video on it as well, go and check out Gaz on the Incredible Wilsons on YouTube, they did an absolutely fantastic vlog on it, so go and check it out, and as we're talking about it, Simon, Gaz, take it away, talk about this thing. Yeah, so we uh, we went um, a couple of weeks ago, it was myself, Christy, my wife, and a couple of friends, and honestly, we really enjoyed it. Um, I don't know what you thought, Simon. I thought for us, it's nostalgic for us because obviously yeah. we've been, we used to go to Camelot when we were kids, you know, which which made it amazing, you know. Yeah, well, um, I I kind of uh, lived in Camelot, um, more or less because it's literally like you said, it's round the corner from us. Um, it was it was it was actually quite uh, disheartening at first when I first, first drove in. Because I knew exactly where I was, and when I drove in, I knew that the Tower of Terror, or what new people knew as Nightmare, was just there on the right-hand side, and there's just nothing there. Because that's the entrance you came in. You came in through the back of Camelot. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah, you walk, you just drove through, because the drive-through experience, if you haven't explained that before. Um, and you go and watch a movie afterwards. Yeah. Um, well, it, it's like we said, as soon as you walked in, so you drove in, we realised um, we were at the section where the jousting used to be. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah. And you saw yeah. the main entrance. And um, straight away, we were, we were all saying, I can't believe that this is actually... Well, I know you thought... To... Well, I, I did watch your vlog and I was... I, I did, it, when you when you said it was the main entrance, that actually was the um, party area. It was like oh, a, was a big it? ball right, pool. Okay. It was like a big ball pool. The actual entrance is what you drive through at the very end. That's right, cinema... Okay. The cinema screen is where the where the main building used to be, the main right, entrance. Okay. Wow. Because that's where yeah. that's why it's got a bit of a ramp when you come up to it. Because when you came, when you went into a Camelot, you actually walk down on a slope. Right. Okay. So it's quite fitting that when you come when you when you're coming out of the actual haunt, you're coming out of Camelot and going into the car park. Right. So that was right. the original car park. Yeah, the original car park and entrance because the car park was right at the front of the entrance. There was no. Um, Smaller car park. That's well. Going back off memory from 20, 2011, I think was the last time I went before it shut. Yeah, I'll be so, honest with you. Last time I went was probably about. It's probably about twenty five years ago. I'll be honest. It was a long, long time ago. But um, you know, like we said, we really enjoyed the event. Um, the best part, the best part for us was 
the drive through experience, really. Um, the film we watched wasn't that great, but we still, yeah, had, but, we still had a really good time. I believe you watched Babadook. Yeah, we watched Babadook. Um, I hadn't seen anything about the film um, before we went. We didn't watch any spoilers, but um, yeah, it was okay. But honestly, it's like me and Christy were just speaking earlier. We'd definitely go again, you know. Yeah. Well, um, added on to that, we say definitely go again. Originally, they were only going up to the 10th of uh, April. Yeah. I've just added three more films for Easter weekend. Ooh, what right. films are these? Uh, so you've got Cult of Chucky on Friday the 15th at 9 o'clock. Annabelle Comes Home on Saturday the 16th at 9 o'clock. And you've got Orphan on Sunday the 17th at 9 o'clock. See, I heard of Orphan. Yeah. Yeah, because originally it was only going to go up to the 10th of September, uh, 10th of April, which was a conjuring the devil made me do it, and that was supposed to be the final film, but it looks like they've extended for three more nights. What I find interesting, obviously, if people who um, don't know, we're also on YouTube as well now, so you can watch this. I've got the um, up on the um, screen. So there's four large cinema screens, obviously yeah. the same four yeah. length shows. Immersive zombie experience, what was very interesting in your vlog when they were coming up to the cars and that, and opening the doors and actually scaring people, hearing a yeah. lot of screaming. That was funny. Um, obviously, you two have been talking about the one mile zombie drive trial. So I'm guessing the trail is before the cinema. Yeah. What it is, you're coming through the entrance, through the back entrance, one of the, the old um, maintenance entrances, and actually past the old Best Western that used to be the hotel that was attached to it. Uh, and you just drive through the park and you can still see parts of the, the old buildings are still there. If you know the layout, uh, you go over the little mini bridge, which just which is just before the jousting bit, and you just drive, like, sweep through where the park used to be. And like I said, you come out and you park up and enjoy film. And like um, we all, I always recommend, and I think, Gaz, you recommended as well, go as early as you possibly can before you film. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you've the got there's a fully licensed bar, there's food vendors, and they get extremely busy just before yeah. the film's about to start. That's because you Northerners are all alcoholics. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> the the um the food there is really good. There's such a selection, isn't there? Now I'm interested. Um, mm. there's, there's fresh pizzas. There's um are they called gy- gyros? Gyros? That's what I gyros. Have. Gyros. Zeros are called. It's a silent J. It's Greek. Yeah. So these, these, which is like a kebab, really. Um, yeah. But honestly, food was amazing, and like, like you know, as you drive through it as well. One thing that they're really good at is they sent, they make you look one way when you're driving. Yeah. So you're looking at one thing, and then all of a sudden, the scare actors come from the other side. Yeah, and it's a classic distraction technique. Can I just double yeah. check? Are children allowed to go through this, or is it a certain age? Though? The films are. Yeah, I've 18, got the 15 and above. Yeah, I've got so, films on the screen. So like for Friday the 8th of April, as we record, it's the, the Unborn. Yeah. Um, Evil Dead is on, I'd say, as a knife. Simon says, Quiet Place. I actually quite love that film. So um, yeah. Saturday night for April. And, oh, the, the Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It, Sunday the 10th of April. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. You know, they, have done, they have done children's ones on a Saturday and Sunday afternoon, about half 12. Yeah. It was £25 a car. Um, and they had Ghostbusters Afterlife on there, and I can't remember what yeah. else they did. Yeah, I think they but, did Adam's Family or something like that, didn't yeah. they? So I think they are, they, if it carried on, like I'd say, they've only extended into Easter, and originally it was supposed to only go into the 10th, so hopefully they extend it a little bit longer, because this is a, it's a, it's a nice little event. If, I'll like, tell you what, it's pretty big, looking at the map. Yeah, it's the whole, you, you're literally driving around the whole theme park, and the theme park, you, as a child, it was big. As an yeah. adult, it was small. So which way do you go? Do you go, do you go left or right? You go around in the antiquity. Right, yeah, yeah, I can see it now. I can see the cars. Yeah, yeah. So that's quite interesting. Start off at the military compound, move on to the River on River yeah. of the Dead, military checkpoint. I'm guessing they stop you and have a little chat with you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they stop. They have a chat with you. Um, they show yeah, it, yeah. shout but, at you. Yeah. yeah. Say some naughty words. <laughs> But, um, it's an adult podcast, you can say. Yeah, no, no, it's, <laughs> yeah. It, it, it is really, really good. And, and like one thing that me and Christy said is we couldn't believe the theming's quite good, isn't it? Really, for considering you know it's only a temporary event. And I know we all talk about Halloween Horror Nights and things like that, 
universal, but I don't think this company is, it's not a universal, is it? But, but it's brand new as well. So you're not going to be up there with the big boys like Halloween. No. So you've got to well, do to be, to be fair, they have been going a while. This is now their third area they've gone to. And how many years old is this Halloween Horror Nights? Yeah, but <laughs> it's um, it's just something different. Because uh, will it be in your car? Whatever the yeah. weather. Yes, it is a little bit. You know I mean, we, um, when we when we when me and Julie went, it was raining, but yeah. we still enjoyed it. It does look really interesting. Yeah. Um, obviously, you off to that checkpoint. You moved to Camelot Castle. What people can see on the screen again if they're watching yeah. on YouTube yeah. on Epic Shows. Oh, that's where the bounce house and the fun house kind of thing was. Oh, yeah. Eli Castle at the back end of the park. Yeah, it looks a bit run down right now. It looks like Chelsea's defence. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, guys, I'm a Chelsea fan in football and we've been getting destroyed lately. Um, moved to the Valley of the Dead. Yeah, again, that's named after the Chelsea defence. Um, what's the next bit? Is it, I can't read it. Decon- decommission? De- 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 decontamination. Decontamination. Yeah. Right. Is, 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 is as you drive up to go to, to where the cinema part is, they yeah. just... Pretend to spray you with fog as if you're decontaminating your vehicle because right. you've been attacked by zombies. And yeah, there are no quotes for the people who are not watching. Yeah, and then attacked. once then once then you're in. <laughs> um, but it, it's like 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 you know once you're in and you know you've got your food and things like that and the movie's about to start, it all then kicks off again, doesn't it? You know. Yeah. You know they have a it's called like a red alert, and there's all these there's all smoke, these flashing lights, and then all of a sudden the zombies have escaped again and. They're trying to get in your cars and, you know, they, 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 they literally do get inside your car. Yeah, so car literally, in- what I would, if you, if you do go, leave them unlocked. They're not going to hurt you. No. They might scare you. Fun. Yeah. They're not going to hurt fun. you. They might get in your face. If you yeah. don't like that thing, don't go to these events, but they'll get in your face. They may touch you. They may grab your arm. You might touch your hand. They're, they're not yeah. going to hurt you. No. It's, it's make-believe, people. Uh, well, it's not. It's real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm keeping it alive. Um, I do have a question. What's the latest it goes to? Late time. What do you mean? When it shuts down, basically, everyone else go on. Nine o'clock. That, Nine o'clock. When the film starts, you can't. Once the film starts, you you can't come in. Yeah, but I mean, once the film's over, that's it. There's no other movies afterwards. No, 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 no. You literally you, you're out the door. Right. Yeah. So it's only, they only show the film once per night. Yeah. Yeah. Because right, yeah. gotcha. literally, yeah. you, the the film maybe two. Maybe an hour and a half, two hours, depending on what film you've got. But the whole experience, if you get there early enough, you could spend three, four hours there. Yeah. Have something to eat, have a few drinks if you're not driving. Well, let's have the designated driver, which I would say the designated driver should be given a free uh, soft drink, I think. But that's just my personal opinion. Yeah. Quick and, and question, guys. Who was screaming in your video so much? Who was it? It yeah. definitely wasn't me. It was Christy. I did wonder. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely Christy. But um, it's like another thing. Per car, it's fifty pound. You know, on this four year, it's not it a lot of money for like, car now. Yeah, yes. so it's fifty pound per car. And there was four of us in mine. I don't think that's a lot of money. If you know, twelve fifty yeah. each, and you're out for four four imagine, hours. You know, imagine you have a six seater car as well. Ooh, yeah, that's really cheap. Yeah. Well, yeah, me, so- like I say, me, me and Julie went, and I, we were just on a uh, two of us, and I paid. I was willing to pay the fifty pound. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you know what I mean? So it's yeah. a good thing. You got to think you, you're paying for. A scare experience attraction, then you're also paying for a movie as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you know, and, and you, like I said, the, the atmosphere there is just really good. And you know, if you get there early enough, like we did, we had an hour in there, we got some food. Um, uh, Christy and the friends we were with had some alcoholic drinks, you know, it was just a nice atmosphere. Everyone was there just to have fun, weren't they? It was just really good. Yeah. So, so, yeah, like, like, uh, like Simon said, get there early, that's the, the main thing. So, yeah. Let's not be biased though. Is there anything either you think they can improve? What would it be? Toilets, permanent toilets, not porta potties. That's the only thing I can say to improve it. Yeah, uh, I'd, I'd be honest maybe, with you. maybe maybe a few more scare actors in the actual in the trail. That's exactly what I was going to say. A few more scare actors in the trail. Um, you know the toilets. I didn't use them, but I know Christy commented saying they wasn't that great. But yeah, that's that's about it. But well, the scare actors. But it's like I said to Christy, you know, it must cost a fortune to get the event up and running. And the night we went, there wasn't that many cars there. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of cars there. So you know, like I said, Christy, I can't understand some nights they mustn't make money. You know, no, but it depends. I think the vendors are separate. I don't think the vendors are part of it, so they're making their own money, so they don't yeah. have to pay for that. 
So, and it depends what, what lease they've got on the land. You know, yeah, it, it, it's all financing. It, it, they must be making it work because they're extending it a little bit at a time. So they may take a break now and come back for the, uh, the uh, summer and yeah, then go into yeah. Halloween season. But I'm not too sure. Phil's just pulling himself up with his Sorry, guys, it's photographers taking photos of me constantly. You're going to see my light going up and down. Nothing <laughs> to do that. I forgot to charge the um, light and it's charging as we speak and it just keeps on going up and down. Absolute idiot that I am. So you both you both really enjoyed it. Um, is there any way to follow them on social media or anything? Yeah, uh, at uh, Camelot Rises. It's the, Twitter. They have, they, it's on Twitter, the... They haven't got much on the uh, social media told, side. But... I've told they do more on Facebook. Yeah, that, yeah you know, Facebook. That's, yeah. yeah, that's where yeah. I saw it. I saw it. I've also Facebook. seen as well when I was having a nose on Facebook. There's also a Camelot Rises community fans page now as well. Group. All right. Yeah. So if anybody's uh, interested in that, go and give that a go. And if you can't yeah. find it through Camelot Rises, uh, look for Park and Party. That's what I had to have the website on. You'll find it straight away. Using. Yeah. So we are going to move on from that now. We're not getting to the main event yet. We are going to get to SeaWorld. So Simon, you said there was some news from SeaWorld. They looked, yeah, SeaWorld, they just popped out a tweet earlier on today. Um, and it literally, the tweet was, uh, gathering your souls. Um, wasn't anything particularly fancy from them. But... Simon, before we get into SeaWorld, because obviously this is new to gas as well. And what's new to all of us because we never did it. Yeah. Um, what it's, was the it's, average it's, price for tickets last year? Uh boy, now you now you put me on the spot. <laughs> That's what I, I think uh, early bird discounts were like fifty-five dollars a night, roughly, but then they did a every Friday and Sunday ticket for about 109. Ooh, that's a good price. Uh, and I think they did a whole event ticket, so you could go every single night for about 129 that's if you got it early enough. I think it was reduced from 179, 180. Don't quote me 100% because I can't remember that much. That's um, quite a good price. And obviously that's a bit more touchy-feely than Halloween yeah. Horror Nights. So if you can see that, what I'm putting up on the screen, it just says, bring me your souls uh, yeah. in the same font that Halloween Horror Nights are using. Ooh. That's what they tweeted. Um, they should, why re- they should the really use Epic at the moment. They should, they, well, they should use Epic Haunts. Really, that's the best font out there. But um, that is brilliant. So there's not much going there. So what we're going to do now is we are going to move across to the main event. Um, I can't remember what podcast does. It goes, the main event. Is that the Attractions magazine? <laughs> <laughs> not sure. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But um, yeah, we're moving to the main event now, which is obviously HHN 31, 37, whatever you want to call it now, because there's been so many different names in between. But um, yeah, it's HHN 31, or we can just call it HHN 2022, whatever you want yeah. to call it. But don't. Dare. Well, the marketing at the moment saying HHN 2022. So, See, yeah, mouthful. They're not, using, they're not using 31 yet. Before we go any further, can I just say, Gaz, I absolutely love your t shirt. Yeah, a little, um, a little bit of itchy and scratchy. Itchy and scratchy, yeah. <laughs> Great little t-shirt. Awesome. It's really comfortable as well. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> there you go, people. It's quite a good area to hang out as well for Halloween Horror Nights. Definitely. The chainsaw people are back. Yeah, hopefully they'll be back this year, won't they? So, Simon, before we get into prices now, what are you using? Are you using Universal Studios or anything else? What? For the pricing, you're going to explain. For the tickets for Halloween Horror Nights. Oh, I'm just going to give you the average price. There's no point going into too much detail because not everything's released yet. Well, that is the amazing thing about me is I'm always prepared. I've got the event page up. On <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, people. As again, guys, this is why it's worth watching on YouTube. We actually show you stuff as well. What can be a lot more useful. So um, before we get into this, Gaz, how many nights were you planning to go for? Sorry, just one minute. Sorry, Pearl, just get there one minute. Sorry. Sorry, what did you say then, Phil? Sorry, Pearl's just jumped up then. <laughs> How many nights are you planning to go for? Because you're only out for what? Is it f- yeah. 12 so days or something? Yeah, I, I'll probably go to Halloween Horror Nights, probably three nights in total. Um, my hopeful, hopeful is to do probably a night with you guys, um, one with Christy and Seb, and then, you know, probably a third night. So, um, That's not, brilliant. So, yeah. Simon, before, and before we go any further, who's that little guy on the picture? Is he like? Is he like a just a generic sort of demon sort of guy with no mouth? Yeah, it's just a 
just one of the scare actors from a few Why years, can't they few make years ago. that the new icon? That looks cool. No, they don't want that as a new icon. They want the yeah. pumpkin lord. No, look at that, mate. He's just no no talk. Pretty anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go into that. Let's go right, into start what with detail dates. we've got. Yeah, we have got dates. They start on the 2nd of March. And before anyone says, it is not that second early. 2nd of March, it's a day early. Uh, Well, 2nd of September. Right? <laughs> yeah. but so that would be early. I'm just getting distracted because people have been saying it's, it's the earliest ever. But it's by one day. It was a third of the September right, last right. year. So, but it's uh, it runs from the 2nd to the 4th, 7th to the 11th, 15th to the 18th. 21st to the 25th, 28th to the 30th of September, 1st to the 2nd of October, 5th to the 9th, 12th to the 16th, 19th to the 23rd, and the 26th to the 31st of October. Ooh, Dates are subject to availability, changes and cancellations uh, without notice. And that is a record 43 nights for Halloween Horror Nights this year. That is the most nights I've ever done. I think I need and to that's the pumpkin lord. Yes, on the screen yet again. I really am trying to plug that we are also on YouTube. <laughs> so uh, they're the dates. The tickets do vary massively in price. I'm just loading up the tickets. They start from $73.99 plus tax. So I will just pick a random date for you. And we will go for... Actually, don't need to get a random date. I've got them all. I've got every single date here, but I'm not going to go through every Fantastic. single one. Fantastic. Uh, your Davis nights are Saturday nights at seven ninety-seven dollars ninety-nine in September. Uh, let's go into October. Uh, the Davis tickets are Saturday nights again at one hundred and four ninety-nine. And that's is that before tax as well? That's before tax. So, so you'll pay you're talking. From... So for someone like Gaz as well, you're talking. What we're not oh, saying with no could... price. If there was a frequent fear, Russia fear pass, mm -hmm. what sort of price range would you be thinking if it comes along? Uh, I would say they could probably go up. They'll probably do it for about 169, I think. So, the so Russia has, fear. If, the, if the Russia fear comes on, you're better off getting one of them then. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you were going on the Saturday night, you got the, well, I don't think we said dates yet, but that'd be 97.99. The Sunday, yeah. excuse me, the Sunday night is 73.99 yeah. straight away. Those two mm -hmm. nights, I mean, of course. Yeah, yeah, you might also just buy the pass, and then yeah, yeah. Then you have the facility if you wanted to go for a fourth night. Even if you watch for a fourth night, just do one house. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, we always recommend. We always signs. always recommend yeah. to wait until then tickets come available. But also with the dated tickets, yeah, you can now get express passes for Halloween Horror Nights, which I had up and now I've lost. Ooh, Where'd they come? And there's my light back. Uh, Halloween Horror Nights, come on, stupid thing. Have you got uh, the prices for RIP, private RIP, and behind the screens as well? Yeah. Uh, so the Express Pass is not available yet. It's the um, behind the screens tour. You've got a three house tour for $79.99 from. So, because I've not the found screen, a single day. Explain date. that to people who could be totally brand new. It's very unlikely on our show. But if there was, what would it, what is behind well, the screen? What it is. I believe this year they're doing a three house tour and a six house tour. What it is, you go through the houses during the day with the lights on, with a cast member or a team member telling you about the house and the history of Halloween Horror Nights. If you do the three house tour, it'll be the three different ones to the six house tour. So take that into consideration if you want to do it. Yeah. Uh, but prices, I it says starting from $79.99. I've not found a single night day that does seventy nine ninety nine yet. That's probably for the three houses as well. It is for the three houses, but there's nothing coming up because I, I was. No, looking... I can see underneath it saying per person plus tax. A free house tour is one hundred and twenty nine ninety nine. That's for the, that's for the six. That's for the six. Right, so you're probably finding out. Oh, god, that's not a bad price for six if you can get it. Yeah, but you can. That's what I'm saying. The cheapest I've seen it at the moment. I'm just going through all the dates. Is ninety nine ninety nine for the two for the three house tour. Okay, and so, what about the, uh, the private RIP tour? They're, they're very expensive, aren't they? Yeah, private RIP tours do, are available, and I think you've done an, uh, maybe a full one or part one when you went, uh, Gaz. Yeah, but, we did. Uh, the Halloween RIP tours start from 20, it's $249.99 plus tax, and it does not include park admission, so you still need to get a ticket as well. So I'll just take a random date, uh, because we, these tours... You get a team member in a small group of maybe 10 or 12 people and you get to go. They'll guarantee you in every house 
uh, breaks in between every skirt. Well, not all the skirt zones, but you also get um, express passes for the ride afterwards Ooh, after I you finish your that. tour as well. So I'll just pick a random day. Let's try and find a random day in September. And if I'm right as well, the RIP tour arm people are very clued on. So if you ask them questions about Halloween Horror Nights, yeah. they will know. Uh, Sat- it looks like Saturdays. Saturdays are very expensive. You look at $349, $369. Sundays are $279. Um, uh, a couple of Wednesdays are $279. So you can get them uh, thinking about it. Like I said, I can't find the $200. $49. Oh, there you go. I found one. Uh, the 7th of September, the $249.99. Oh, I want him to be there then. <laughs> but um, interesting thing is um, I heard it on another podcast. I don't know if it was um, RIP or Halloween 365. Same people were doing a bit of a naughty last year. They were all booking mm. on the same day. And then they were requested to be together. Same time. Which... And then they requested, as he says, wanted to be they got put into the same groups. So it was a yeah. way of getting a private RIP tour. Very clever. But well, I have it's been technically, to Universal. Technically, no, it's not. No, that te- it, it, it won't be a private RIP tour. Because a private RIP tour, you get to tell the tour guide what you want to do. In these ones, you don't get to tell, tell the t- tour guide. The tour guide takes you to every house and no, then away okay. you go. With a private one, you tell him what you want to do. If you want to go and ride Fast and Furious 25 million times, you can do that. But obviously, idiots won't do that. But if you want to no, all break would. off, but if you want to break off and go and do a Men in Black challenge, whoever wins buys the beers or whoever loses buys the beers, you can do that in the private RIP tour. These ones, the the, the guided ones, you can't. So, so, so with regards to private RIP tours, I know it says, uh, obviously, call a few details. What, what, how much are them and how many people can do them? Uh, it's up to, I think, 10, 10. people in total. Um, I think they do go up to 16, but it's very unlikely they, they do. Um, I, from what I heard last year, people were being quoted top of four to five thousand dollars. Right. So it can become quite expensive. Yeah. If there's 10 of you and it's about four, five, four thousand dollars, it's four hundred dollars each. Yeah, still expensive. But, yeah, it is, but that also doesn't include park admission. You still need to pay for your park admission yeah. as well, any ticket. So they can make they can get very very expensive the private ones. But if you can do it and you can afford it and you want to do it, by all means. So I've got indulge. the UK, I've got one of the UK sites up. Um, attraction tickets, whatever they're called. Um, just looking yeah. at their pricing, the first day is is, is Friday, second, six, seven quid. You can get a couple of days on here for 59 quid. Um, the fourth, the seventh, the eighth looks like that. Yeah, they're, they're exactly the same price on there as the hour. See, the, this is this is what bugs me. This US is site. what scares people. Oh, we've got 10 minutes left in this meeting before we have to re get back into it. Sorry, guys, I'm not paying for Zoom anymore. <laughs> oh, so, <we've> <laughs> 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, so people, if you're seeing this and you're panicking. I personally think that the fear passes will be showing up. And this, if you're thinking they're doing a Disney and that you have select days, I don't believe it's going to happen like that. Yeah. Uh, I think Universal, for the two years of losing money, are going to want as much money as possible. And they're going to want everyone in these theme parks when they can get them in. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And one thing I would not, ex- uh, I don't like about the, these, don't get me wrong, attraction tickets are a great company. Uh, I have used them before, but when it's a mobile ticket, Get a printed one. Yeah. Always. yeah and the mobile time. tickets. Yeah. The amount of queuing you have to do with people who got mobile tickets that don't scan properly. Yeah. Oh, if you're you stuck that. behind one of them, you just want to slap them out back at head and say, just get a real ticket. Yeah. We, we did it when we went to Ontario's last time. We we downloaded our fast pass, we printed them, and just put them in our lanyards. And yeah. every time yeah. we just went, we scanned on everything. It was just easy. Yeah, just easy, um, you know. There isn't actually much more to talk about apart from I'm I've really got one hoping... more thing I want to quickly talk about. It's, new, oh, it's a new haunt experience. Okay, what's this about? It is called My Haunted Hotel. All right, it's okay, a good. house that was built it's uh, a house. in so my it's haunted a... house. No, it's a haunted hotel. It was a house that was built in 16 something, and now you can go and stay in there overnight. Mm. Uh, but where is rooms... it in the country? It is in Chester. Okay. So it's in the centre of Chester. It is, uh, let me just find it. It was built in 1622 uh, and the place is covered with 16 night vision cameras recording all the action during the night. 
and you get to do your own paranormal show. So what it is, you are staying there overnight, you're individuals in some of the ha- uh, rooms, and the rooms are themed to entice that ghost in the area. So oh, if you perfect. want to go and see what it looks like, get yourself over to Skirtrack on YouTube and have a look at the video. That and I would have done. had the web page if he warned me beforehand. Well, I didn't want to. <laughs> uh, but, so, uh, it's... but I'll tell you what, if if anybody wants to pay for me to go to that, Craig Luter, Lucas, you can pay for Potato Head anytime you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's advertised as the ultimate overnight ghost hunting adventure. And it, it works out to be about £95, £95 per person. That sounds night. awesome. That's, that'd be a great vlog, guys. Great vlog. Well, I'll be honest with you, that's definitely something I wouldn't like to do. Oh, I'd love to no do it. Way. <laughs> yeah, if I, I had the not... money and the time, I would go and do it. I would I would love that overnight. I would, I would love to I would love to experience it, but I wouldn't like to sleep there. I'd like but to be you able don't to sleep. Yeah. That's the point. Yeah. Well, oh, what it says is, 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 is I'll just give you a quick rundown. It says your overnight paranormal adventure starts here. All your, the upcoming dates can be found below, blah blah blah. Uh, choose a room that sleeps two or three guests. Please note you will not be able to pick your room number that you'll stay in. You'll be randomly assigned it. Cameras are recording all night, so you are being filmed at all times. They do Ooh, let you know that. Kinky. Oh, if you, if you if, yeah, so they do, they do say be careful. Uh, it's Monday to Thursday. The, the, the check-in is at 8.30 p.m. and you check out at 12 p.m. the next day. Can I just say, this sounds like an OnlyFans heaven. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting the recording done from there. Love it. So do they give you videos then afterwards? As well? Uh, well, the rumour is they're gonna, they, there is going to be a package where they give you a video at the end. But the rumour is this is going to start being streamed live on YouTube. Ooh, that an interesting watch. So you can watch other people doing it. And it's uh, what? Yeah, I was gonna doing say doing these that, visuals, yeah. doing doing the Ouija boards, doing shouting <laughs> out right. and watching things yeah. do. Okay, so I'm just like, you dirty man, you <laughs> freak you too. <laughs> <laughs> well, you won't believe these people early. I, I messaged Gaz to say I'm get I suppose I should get ready. Gaz sent me a lovely picture on Facebook Messenger of him, his laptop there, his his mic, his legs spread open, <laughs> and a, a box of tissues between his legs. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> no, listen, it, it, it's set up in the front room. And there just happens to be a box of tissues in the front room. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, I tell you, Where, that's it, wherever he story. is on the screen, he's a dirty-minded freak. Yes, definitely, definitely. Yes, Gaz. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's definitely me, guys. <laughs> but um, that is pretty uh, much it. The only thing I'm looking really forward to is coming over to Cabana Bay at some point on the holiday when we all meet up and hopefully the bar's themed again for Halloween Horror Nights and yeah, having a few yeah. Halloween Horror Night type drinks. Well, but like I said, the rumours are um, May will be the next announcement. So don't get your hopes up in April because um, there is a lot more rumours going around that um, Scream is being built and they just got to finalise everything. So. Mm. Yes, I'd love that. And that's come from a very good source as well this today on, on Twitter as well, because he's seen materials going into the Fast and Furious queue. Interesting. So. Very nice. I'd love to have Scream finally. It should have been there years ago, but I still want Batman. I'm telling you now, brilliant house. Can't be that. But that is pretty old. Simon's just having a twitch on his face, apparently. <laughs> so that's pretty much it from us, guys. So we're just... Um, don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Epic Haunts. I can't remember the Instagram. I'm hoping it's the same, but who knows? I don't know. I've got, I don't one. Really I've got use one for Instagram, Instagram. So I'm terrible. Yeah. Um, follow me if you want on Twitter as well. It's um, at Epic Phil. And why is it called Epic Phil? Because I have my own YouTube channel where I vlog my own holidays. So go and check them out soon to come. Tenerife, March 2022, once to come. Gaz, what's your stuff? Yeah, and uh, just come and check us out on. Um... YouTube, The Incredible Wilsons, and like Phil just said, we'll be filming some content soon because Christy goes on holiday on Sunday to Tenerife awesome. without me. Oh, you're making without it sound me. like you're not going, though. No. Yeah, but I'll be following I'll be following <laughs> on the Friday, so, yeah. Okay, Simon, anything you want to plug? Well, subscribe to this channel, um, Epic Shows. Yeah. We've got many more content. We've got the Epic Florida Project on here. We've got, I believe, around football is on its way back. It's so we've sports. got a few more. Grand Sports, yeah. So there's more shows coming out with more content for yourselves. And uh, if you want to follow me, I have got a YouTube channel as well. It's uh, Simon and Julie. Uh, just put a Alton Towers vlog from opening weekend. So I'll give that love some over there. And if you want to follow me, it's uh, Simon and Julie on Twitter. 
Or um, Simon and Julie strike back. I've just a quick one. Well. If any of the other, other haunt shows are out there listening and would like to come on, would like us to come to yours, please get into contact with us on Twitter. We're always willing to do this stuff and, have, you know, be a part of the community, not be outcast. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. yeah so that's pretty much it um everyone thanks for listening thanks for watching as simon says give this video a like press that bell notification on youtube for when new videos come out keep your haunts going and we'll see you on the next episode yeah thank you very much stay spooky